Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now if I'm looking a bit dishevelled and sweaty, yeah, sweaty, it's because I've just got back from West Monmouthshire Captain's Day and it was a tad warm towards the end of the round. It started off a bit grey and then the sun came out and it really did get hot. I got to play with the captain today. Yes, gulp, I played with the captain. A couple of guys called Steve and Paul. Steve is an older gentleman. I don't know what his handicap is because I wasn't marking his card. He didn't hit the ball very long. And he completely schooled me in how to get round West Monmouthshire when it's hard and bouncy, as all the courses around here are at the moment. Because we've had this prolonged dry spell and drying wind. He showed me how to put from 25 yards short of a green and he got it round in 36 points he shot his handicap well done Steve Paul on the 17th got nearest the pin he hit a seven iron to that just behind the hole from the tee box it looked like is that in the hole is it resting against the flag fantastic shot absolutely fantastic fast absolutely fantastic shot what did I manage? Well, I managed 32 points, so I was four over my handicap. I had three disasters, and that sums up my game at the moment. I don't seem to be able to play 18 holes without throwing in three disasters. So I think it's uh, about time I went to see Matt and had a top-up lesson. Something's got a little bit strong in my grip, so I'm kind of like turning over the ball a fraction, uh, especially with the shorter irons which cost me dear today. But I've had an absolutely fantastic day. I don't know how many members took part, in excess of 100, which is a really, really good turnout. And everyone in the bar is coming up to me, hi Simon, hi Simon. And I, I felt a little overwhelmed. People who know me through the channel and I don't know them, but overwhelmed in a good way, not a bad way. And of course, guys that I'd met before and had a chat with as many as I possibly could. Um, they're sorting out the computer. They're trying to get me onto the computer, the Welsh Golf Union, so I can take part in proper white tea competitions. And as soon as that's sorted out, as Lee put it, I'll do it tomorrow if I'm not too pissed tonight. So sometime over the next few days, he's going to get it sorted out so that I can go onto the computer and I can book myself into a competition. And I want to go out there and play competitions off the white tees. Now every time I play it, it's different. The very first time I played it, I played it in early September, after a wet summer, the golf course was soft. I'm going up there now, remembering the clubs that I used in that round, and it's completely useless. It's absolutely no use to me whatsoever, remembering that round. And I've had five rounds up there, so I'm hardly learning the golf course. Because every time I play it, you know, one time the wind's from there, then it's from there, then it's that way, then it's that way, so I'm learning the wind, I'm learning what the ground does now that it's firmed up, but it's in excellent shape. The greens are absolutely wonderful and the fairways, soft, springy, you walk on it and you just know that you're on good turf. You know what I mean, don't you? So I kind of like, I, I was kind of like formulating this idea, because I don't play many competitions these days because more often than not, I'm going out on a Sunday afternoon after the competition with this thing. Perhaps I don't need to be a member of a golf club in England. All right, the round trip cost me 14 pounds in fuel. But if I'm not paying a 900 pound green fee in England, that easily covers that. They've got a practice ground there, so 
I can go and hit my own balls for free. It's a long way to go to practice though, isn't it? The only kind of like downside is would I drive 90 minutes, well it's about 80 minutes, would I drive 80 minutes in the middle of January to go to West Monmouthshire and have a round of golf? So, although it's an idea, it's not actually chiselled in stone yet, but it is certainly an idea that I could take my membership at West Monmouthshire and not bother being a member anywhere in England. I can go to West Monmouthshire for my competitions, I can go there and make a few videos throughout the year, but then I can play away days back here at home. <coughs> but it does mean I'm going to be playing a little less golf, so it's very much one of those kind of like moments. Perhaps I could try it for a year and if it doesn't really suit me having my membership 55 miles from my house, perhaps I can rejoin a golf club here. Perhaps as a five day member, save money. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. Now we have had a little bit of rain here, so I'm going to start some away days. I've got a Father's Day present that I've yet to use. I won't tell you where we're going, but it's going to be uh, in the near future. The golf sidekick video. Right, so Matt's gone back to Thailand now. He had a week in Finland, a week in England slash Wales, and he's gone home. And he's exceptionally busy at the moment. Uh, he's got a lot of videos to edit. Um, he might actually be moving apartment again. Um, so whilst I've uploaded my clips to Google Drive, as yet Matt hasn't uploaded his for me to download. Now the video that I'm going to make is going to be chaos. Four guys hitting four balls in four different scattergun directions. Two guys per golf cart, because we took a golf cart. Two cameras. Um, so the video is going to consist of a couple of tee shots, maybe a couple of second shots, a couple of chips, a couple of putts. It, it, it's, it's going to look a complete mess. But the problem was we, we did it on the spur of the moment. I knew he was coming and I chanced my arm and I, I dropped him a line and he said, basically, why not? Let's go and do it. But there was no actual coherent plan over what type of video we were going to make on the day. It wasn't like we were going to go out there and do a, a Breaking 80 video or uh, a course management kind of video or a chipping and putting video around the green. It was, there was no plan and because there was no plan then the video is going to look like, well you didn't have a plan. So that's what's going on at the moment. As I say, I've had a wonderful day at West Monmouthshire. As soon as they've got the computer sorted out, I'm going to play a couple of comps in July. August is obviously holiday time for a lot of people. I'm going to play uh, a couple of comps in September. My golf day at West Monmouthshire is going to be in September. I've got half the stuff arrived from Go 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 Sport. I've got some other bits and pieces that are still on a slow boat from China or wherever they're coming from. So once I've got everything then I can formulate a plan, get it booked in and then advertise it and then you can leap onto the West Monmouthshire website and book yourself in on BRS and pay for your round of golf. There's going to be spaces reserved for club members so it's going to be partly visitors, partly club members and if there are any other YouTubers who want to come, then uh, we will find a space for you. You can video on the day and uh, get something out of it yourself. I won't be playing. I'll be seeing you all off the first, and then I shall be wandering around the golf course with this thing catching you out. And uh, hopefully you can hit a decent shot on camera because <laughs> I know how difficult that is. Right, that is my update. 
Uh, that's all I've got to say now. I'm going to do a World Handicap update and it will be the final video I do on the World Handicap. Um, the last one stirred up some emails so I got some emails in my office. So I've got an update on the guy who went from 5 to 15 uh, who plays about 75 miles south of here and I've got an uh, update on the guy who went from 9 to 19, got cut, put a load of obviously fake cards in, got back to 19. And that's come from Mike who is on the handicap committee of a club over in Cambridge. So uh, that's an interesting one, the guy who went from 9 to 19. And... But, oh! And to go with that is uh, Neville sent me an article written by a journalist about the World Handicap System and how he loves it. And I'll tell you a little bit about that article and you, you can go read it yourself. I'll put a link in the description. But that's it for now. Cheerio.